when the weather's right, the blossoms out, and the green, green fields of England burst into spring colour, there's no finer place in the world. Kent has earned itself the name Garden of England. Apple blossom, cherry blossom, orchards of flowering trees, a beautiful prelude to the fruit which follows. Yes, it's a pastoral scene that takes a lot of rivaling. While the lovely county of Kent shows off its natural splendor to those who go to see it, for four days each year it has a man-made rival. And what a rival, the Chelsea Show. In the grounds of the Royal Hospital, perfection is an annual display. It looks as though it has always been there. That's the miracle which every year draws both royalty and ordinary citizens. It doesn't matter very much whether one is a keen gardener, everyone finds it breathtaking to be surrounded by the marvels of nature, which the patient care of man has made even more marvelous. Flowers in season and out of season, nothing is impossible. The experts can retard growth or advance it, timing both perfectly so that when the VIPs come on preview day, everything in the garden is lovely. Amongst rose growers, Harry Wheatcroft is an international name. In no small way has he spread the rose of England throughout the gardens of the world. Flowers have met the sweet smell of success in export markets. How lucky we are to be a nation of gardeners with an inborn love for the beauties of the flower beds and the green fingers that they need. Exotic flowers, ordinary flowers. The Chelsea Show has room for them all. It's the art show of a science which continues to strive for even more perfection, more colour, sweeter scents. It is in fact that wondrous thing, an English garden. 